Hello everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento and today is Friday, September the 15th. If you are anything like me, you are shocked that the TD Ameritrade account has been transferred to Schwab and this is now what I see when I see my home screen. Now we are in the Schwab network. And the problem is our previous accounts have all been wiped out. What I mean by that is our paper trading accounts. But that gives me the opportunity to start from scratch and set up a new couple of accounts. One I decided for the Genie Trade and another for the Covered Call. Forget about the SPY. I think I explained how that is done and you can certainly do that in your own time. Um, but let's get on with it by starting two accounts. And if you see this, there's nothing you can do much, right? So it says here, place a trade. Uh, but I would like to set the accounts to be, if you want to set like I have two accounts, one an IRA, the two of them are IRA, see? So how do you set them the two that comes with your uh, Thinkorswim account, or in this case, the Schwab account, to set it up so that you have zero value there, no trades, at a hundred thousand uh, dollar um, value for each account. One will be for the cover calls and the other for the genie trades. How do I go about it? Well, if this is what you see, click there and say place a trade, okay? And I have here this PY, it doesn't matter which trade you enter, just click on the ask and say one, send that. But now in the monitor tab, you should know here where it says adjust accounts, okay? So we're gonna say, okay, this is an IRA. We're gonna make IRA's account, never mind the margin. Although you could trade, what I'm gonna teach you, you can trade in a $50,000 account, a, uh, a margin account, okay? So current value should be 100,000 and reset all balances and positions. That will erase the position we just created. Click on apply and then say yes. And there it is, zero. Okay, now you have this account. So now we have two IRA accounts. You can see them here. Okay, you can select them individually. Next, go to the charts. I'm gonna set my chart views. This is the SPY, but let's say you have an Apple trade and you'd like to see the Apple uh, chart, okay? And I have several studies that I use, including one custom study that I would show you. For that, let's go to studies and edit studies. And here you see a list of studies. The first one we're going to enter is Ichimoku. So A, C, H, and there it is. And then just add selected and it puts it right here. My second study is stochastics. And in this case, I use the full stochastics. This is not for no particular reason other than I've used it for many, many years, but this is an oscillator. You can have Ichimoku, which is a trend analysis. You can have moving average instead of the Ichimoku. I just happen to prefer the Ichimoku, but you can do a trending analysis and a oscillator. And the oscillator I use actually too, but you can choose whatever you like. There's a ton of those. So let's go to the full, so add selected. And here, we're gonna click here on this wheel and say, over here you have the K period and the T period. I want you to use the K period with 12 in case you don't have that already. And the D period is three, okay? That creates my stochastics. Let's apply it so you can see it. Okay, that's the downtrending right here. Then we have the TTM. And here we're gonna click on this TTM and add it. And here it is. Say applies to see what it looks like. Great, all right, that looks fine. Say okay, 
and we would use this from time to time and I want you to be aware that that's what I use as my indicators. It's not terribly critical but because I, I will refer to them once in a while or perhaps you want to create your own. Now I'm gonna set the IVSV chart and that's this is pretty important okay and unfortunately I can post it for you uh, very easily because it won't be if I try to put it in the description below it won't take it so you're gonna have to copy it with me so let's go to studies once again edit studies and here I'm gonna show it to you I have it under the name IV SV I don't want to add it I just want to edit it oh here it is okay all right take your time to copy this it doesn't have to be in color can be in white, uh, black and white, in white essentially or gray or whatever color you have and then copy you can essentially copy it down and then under the script editor you can save name it whatever you will let me just try that again say create and here you're gonna paste it not paste it but type what I wrote okay this copy it one put a stop in your video and write this all down unfortunately there's no better way use your word processor to make sure that you got this right and then copy it from your word processor say okay and then create your new your new study which is going to be IVSV plain and simple and then paste what you copied from your word processor and there it is and then then say okay and then it can be added to your chart Ichimoku Stochastics TTM and IVSV say okay and here's my chart very important you would see that I had referred to it all the time you can see that there are some um, transition between red yellow and green green it tells you this is when you can trade the genie trade all right so we need it for that purpose okay next I'm going to show you how to look for potential candidates for the genie trade for that we need to get a scan so go to the scan hacker that's where we're going to put our scan okay so here now we this is a real account because this uh, hacker does not work in the uh, paper trading account because it doesn't work with studies so he, and obviously I see here studies so let's add a filter here add a filter stock and again we're going to do the same last last has a minimum of $20 per share okay you can scan if you will and that creates a few stocks there for you to look at now we're going to add a study study and then we go down here and say custom because we're going to do this average script editor you can say let's enter here exactly what you see average parenthesis volume comma 90 that means the average volume over the last 90 days is greater than 1 million you can increase that if you will but depending on what results you get this could be changed so then say okay and then I scan again and out of my 229 now I have 214 not much change means um, a million is not that much average daily average you can increase that obviously and then we are going to add the last here the, the, which is this set of conditions and what it means is that the increase over the last five days you know compared to day the close of today with the close of five days ago is more than 10 percent or the close of today compared to yesterday is greater than 10 percent 
and the close this could be actually five percent five days ten percent and the close of the last 10 days is greater than 15 percent so we are getting the big movers over a short period of time and usually that has to do with some news earnings something like that okay so let's go and, and add one more filter and say study and go down to custom and then enter that formula under think script editor and we're going to enter carefully the same uh, formula with all the parentheses you have to review that very carefully make sure that it's copied exactly divided by close okay i finally got it right let me see the last is 20 the average volume over the last 90 days a thousand and then this complex at, so please make sure you copy this exactly otherwise you might not get any results or can get too many results in this case right now there is no candidate make sure that it is intersected with penny increment options and then you save it click here and say click save scram query and then you give it the name you prefer let's say i call it genie trades then in the hacker you can select here under the personal you can say genie trades and it will give you that result today there's no results to be observed so that's all for for that uh, particular uh, stock hacker i use that a lot it's going to tell me one stock has jumped after earnings sometimes some piece of news and then that's the starting point for a potential genie trade okay that's all for today thank you very much for joining me and see you next time bye bye